Hey guys, I'm back making another video for you. Um, I'm freezing. I'm in my bedroom at my dad's. We typically don't have heat, only because it always is really warm here. So, I thought I should mention that. Um, I have a topic today. I want to talk about something. And it's about this man. He's an amazing man. This man is near and dear to my heart. This man is my life. This man, he goes by the name of Bruce Wayne. Weird name, but for this man, it's just his name. But he goes by Batman. Yes, Bruce Wayne is Batman. Hopefully you knew that. So I'm going to talk about Batman. Batman is my life. I love Batman. Um, I have a Batman band. I want to get a Batman, like a bat belt. It's this reversible belt with the Batman belt buckle. Um, there's this bag. I want Batman. I eventually am planning on getting a Batman tattoo on my shoulder here because I'm obsessed with Batman that much. Um, so I'm going to talk about Batman. Um, I want you guys to know now. I have this paper that I'm reading off of and it's down here so I'm not looking at something fantastic, I'm reading. Um, so let me just start. Um, Batman is a fictional character created by Bob Kane and Bill Finner. He originally premiered in Detective Comics number 27 in May of 1939. Um, and ever since then he has been published, like the Batman comics have been published by DC. DC I think it's amazing. So that's pretty good. Um, Batman has several different names that he goes by. He goes by the Cape Crusader, the Dark Knight, and the World's Best Detective. Those are the three main ones he goes by. So if you hear someone talking about, say, the Cape Crusader, it's Batman. That's it. Uh, now, background on Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne? He's an American millionaire. Um, he's an industrialist and a philanthropist. Um, when he was a child, he witnessed his parents being murdered by a man that would later go on and become the Joker. Um, and ever since that day, he swore to himself that he would fight crime to get justice. Um, so of course he had to train himself how to do this. He also trained, you know, his sidekick here, Robin. And Robin was a nine-year-old in the circus whose parents were also murdered by the guy that would later go on and become the Joker. So they have some stuff in common. My hair is bad. Anyway. Um, and, of course, they fight crime in Gotham City. Where they live. Um, Alfred Pennyworth is Batman's butler. He was also his caretaker when he was growing up, and they made this bond. And that's why Alfred does not go off and tell people Batman's secret. Because in the comic books, while Bruce and Robin, actually, I forgot to mention this, Robin's first name is Dick Garrison. I thought it was somewhat important. So, well, Batman, Bruce, and Robin, Dick, are off fighting crime. Alfred is tracking them, helping them. Um, we have the police commissioner, Jim Gordon, who, in, again, in the comic books, um, was responsible for putting the Batman symbol into the sky, signaling that the city of Goth, yeah, the city of Gotham needed help. Then you have um, Batgirl, who occasionally helps Batman and Robin. Her name is actually Barbara Gordon, who is Jim Gordon's daughter. Um, and in one of the movies, I honestly forget to look this up. It's the one with Poison Ivy. Uh, Dr. Freeze is played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
um, and Batman's played by George Clooney. That one, I can't remember it. There's this whole plant thing, and then, you know, Poison Ivy is created. So, I, honestly, I keep forgetting. And in that one, Barbara is always calling Alfred Uncle Alfred, so I'm assuming there's some kind of relation there. There might be, I'm not sure. And maybe DC was just messing with us and was like, yeah, they're not related. But, you know, call him uncle, why not? We'll do that. We'll, everyone will be like, what the hell, but... Something about Batman that I love is he has no superpowers at all. No powers. He's a normal, average guy. Of course, how does he fight crime? He uses his intellect, detective skills, science and technology... Um, his wealth, of course, you know, he's a millionaire. And martial arts girls to fight crime. Um, I actually have five reasons why, um, I love Batman. Like, these are just five kind of general reasons. There are a lot more, but those are kind of the main ones. The first one is Batman is just a normal guy. He's this normal person. He has no powers at all. He chooses to do this. Number two, he fights people that some of them have powers, and others, of course, are just assholes and don't. Um, some of his, some of the villains he fights are the Joker, which is the main one, the Penguin, the Riddler. You have Two Face. Poison Ivy, who is my favorite female villain, and then you have Catwoman, and, and I know in the, I'm pretty sure it was the cartoons, there's a little thing between Catwoman and Batman. These were cartoons I watched when I was like five, so I'm almost 15, so it's been 10 years. So please don't get mad at me if that fact's wrong, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, yeah. Number three, I I actually actually have four reasons. I keep forgetting to count because I took one of these reasons out. I actually only have four reasons. I feel like a dick now. I'm actually I'm gonna make up a fifth one, so I have five reasons. Number three, he has cool ass cars. The first ever Batmobile was actually red, a red, not black, a red. It was actually it was red, but it was based on a 1936 Cord. Now I've seen this car in red. It's beautiful. Oh, look, I would, if I was Batman, I'd be like, yeah, it's beautiful. I can afford it. That's my car. Amazingly beautiful car. Number five. Alfred here, his caretaker and whatnot, keeps his secret. Now, I tell my friends secrets. They go off and tell people. Alfred keeps it. Now, if I was Alfred, I would probably blackmail Bruce and be like, yeah, I've kept your secret for this long, give me some money, give me something. But he doesn't ask for anything. That's what I would do. And I have to come up with another reason, so I guess my fifth reason, my fifth and final reason, is if he has to get around town quickly, and he doesn't want to use a Batmobile, he uses like a graph leg hook, hook, hooks it onto the clock tower, and swings around town. I'd be scared shitless that I would fall. Probably a weird reason, but I think it is. Cool. So, those are my things on Batman. So, of course, this is the part where you guys like the thing, you subscribe to me, you favorite it, you comment. Please comment nice things. I'm a sensitive person. I might take everything to heart and be sad. One more thing before I go. I want to talk about my friend quickly. Her name is Mel. She is an amazing girl. I love this girl. I want you guys to go over and check out her channel. She does covers of songs, she does lyrical videos. She is amazing. I want you guys to go over to her channel, subscribe, watch her videos, like them, comment on them. Tell her maybe I sent you. I want her to feel good because she is amazing. People are saying mean things. Don't say mean things. Be nice. That's honestly all I have to say. I have to actually wrap this up. Long story why. Um, yeah. So anyway, I love you guys.